Kasus kekerasan seksual di lingkungan pendidikan melonjak sepanjang tahun 2021, baik di lingkungan pendidikan formal maupun agama. Kami paparkan sejumlah data dan faktanya untuk Anda. Berikut ini. Kasus kekerasan seksual pada anak masih terus terjadi di Indonesia. Di Malang, Jawa Timur, video penganiayaan seorang anak di bawah umur yang dilakukan teman-temannya viral di media sosial. Before, sexual harassment is the big problem in Indonesia. Sexual harassment is the every act that insults or attack the body related to the sexuality without any consent. There are three types of sexual harassment. The first is physical harassment, verbal harassment, and the last is non-verbal harassment. Physical harassment is an act where someone inappropriately touch you against will. Physical harassment in the workplace is also known as workplace violence. Physical harassment behavior intimidates, embraces, threatens, and makes the victim uncomfortable. Women are the most victim who often experience this type of physical sexual harassment, thus making the victim traumatized for a long time. Verbal harassment is the type of harassment that makes someone feel less uncomfortable, humiliated, threatened, and intimidated. Most of the time, people find it challenging to identify verbal harassment because of the different reaction from people. There are examples of verbal harassment. First, making inappropriate jokes, remarks, teasing, or asking sexual-related questions. Second, commenting negatively about person clothing, body, or personal behavior. Third, sending someone sexual email, notes, or letters. Non-verbal harassment. This includes brushing up against someone's touching, leaning into someone, hugging, and more. Non-verbal sexual harassment does not involve oral communication or physical contact. Some examples of non-verbal sexual harassment include suggesting gesturing, winking, and leering. Non-verbal harassment usually the act of sexual harassment that often occurs is whistling. In 2021, Sexual harassment cases that happen in society have a high enough number. Sexual harassment mostly happens at home with 37% of the total percentage. This shows that sexual harassment often is done by the people closest to the victim. Meanwhile, sexual harassment that happens in school is about 11% and 10%. These sexual harassment cases surely more afflict women with 87% of the total. Society of Indonesia Judicial Monitor MA The sexual harassment cases are varied and very complex even the modes are sophisticated. This condition further strains in the assumption that Indonesia is really in danger of sexual harassment. In addition to sexual harassment against children, the number of rapes in this country is also high. Various impact will arise in the victim. First thing, psychological impact of victim of harassment and sexual abuse will experience deep trauma. Other than that, stress experienced by victims can interfere in the functioning and development. In 2021, sexual harassment cases that happen in society have a high enough number. Sexual harassment mostly happens at home with 37% of the total percentage. This shows that sexual harassment often is done by the people closest to the victim. Meanwhile, sexual harassment that happens in school is about 11% and 10%. These sexual harassment cases surely more afflict women with 87% of the total. Society of Indonesia Judicial Monitor MA 
the sexual harassment cases are varied and very complex even the modes are sophisticated. This condition further strains in the assumption that Indonesia is really in danger of sexual harassment. In addition to sexual harassment against children, the number of rapes in this country is also high. Various impact will arise in a victim. First thing, psychological impact of victim of harassment and sexual abuse will experience deep trauma. Other than that, stress experienced by victims can interfere in the functioning and development. How to prevent sexual harassment? There are a few ways to prevent sexual harassment. First, be there to be firm and don't easily trust others. Second, avoid the chat that refers to the sexuality stuff. The third is master self-defense. And the last is prepare your protective equipment. That's all the information that I can explain about sexual harassment. I hope you can realize the dangers of sexual harassment and you can know how to prevent sexual harassment. I'm Brigitte Regina Sampelo from English Literature Study Program. See ya!